Welcome to another episode of my how-to videos. In this episode, I'm gonna show you guys how I built a homemade powder coat oven that I've been using for years commercially for only $60, okay? And this is it right here. 60 bucks, I'm gonna tell you how I did it. Stay tuned. So let's take a tour of my home-built oven. So first, let's open her up. Here we got the latch. Here's the handle. The door has a window and I can look in to the oven to see the product. And what I use for the window is just the door of a regular oven. So let's take a look inside. Okay, so down here we have four elements. That is from the cooktop of a regular stove. Here is the actual stove, and there is the bottom element and the top element there. Um, that is a stove that I used to make this whole entire oven work. There is the oven part of it, and here's the stove top part of it. And basically, I built an insulated box around everything, and that, in a nutshell, is my powder coat oven. It'll get up to 500 degrees inside and the temperature is fully adjustable. And here's the door. That was the door from the oven that would normally go there. I put it on the big door uh, so that way I can look through and see the product melting. I could look through and see the temperature gauge which I have right here and um, basically keep an eye on everything from the outside. Just some hinges. Here's a latch, here's a guide, and that is it. I've made my own uh, sealant to seal the oven door. And if you notice here, it's not fully sealed right there. Um, I did that on purpose because that saved me about 50 cents. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, when it comes to an oven like this, it doesn't have to be fully sealed. Right now I'm getting up to 500 degrees with it not being fully sealed. And why I like that is because um, sometimes when we preheat product, if, you wanna, if you're going to powder coat something and you want to you wanna bake it to gas it out, you don't want fumes building up in a sealed oven. You want you want to be able to escape through things like that. Um, otherwise, what happens is if you open the door to check on it when it's done, you're gonna have a burst of gas, uh, sometimes very harmful, coming at you. And uh, depending on what you're doing, especially if um, the product has been acid dipped in B17 first, uh, that, uh, that powerful gas coming towards you will be uh, very very harmful and it could actually burn chemically burn you here's the side of it as you can see there's the oven part that's actually the oven right there and all I did was build a box around it and if I lift this up here I made a little door with a couple hinges there is all the fuses for the oven and as you can see that's all fireproof insulation inside um, sort of hard to see, but it's all fireproof insulation. Here's the fuses. So, and everything is marked. If I have any issues, it's fully serviceable through there. Um, and how did I do it so cheap? I got that oven uh, for, I believe it was $40 used. Um, and then the rest of it, the, all the framing I made with um, old bed frame, that bed frames that I got for free. And then I collected some scrap sheet metal. This is um, extra sheet metal that was left over from some guy's trailer project. And I got, I got those for about 20 bucks. And that is it. And then just some elbow grease to put it together. 
I've been using this for years. Hang your product here. The temperature all around is uh, metered at the same. I use uh, this electronic meter to measure. So if I put product right here, or if I put it right here, or if I put it right there, I'm getting all even temperature on those products. And it just works amazing. Watch how nicely this door closes. Watch this, ready? Just like that, and locked. It's a heavy door, it's an awesome oven, and it works great. That is how I built my powder coat oven, and hopefully this has inspired you guys to build your own. And let's just take a zoomed out look of it. You'll notice this is a car here, and that's the oven, so you can see how massive that oven is. And I've also built this oven. This oven will actually fit a car inside, and I'll get to this oven in another video. This one cost me a bit of money, but it is pretty amazing. And right now, it's at the perfect stage to show you guys how I've been building it. So there you have it. Now you've seen my powder coat oven that I built with my own two hands for only $60. Um, can you do the same? Yes, you can. Does it work amazing? Yes, it does. And do you need to spend more than that? Well, you don't need to, but if you want to, go ahead. So hopefully this has answered all your questions. Um, if you do have any more questions, leave it in the comment section below. I will answer it. If you need help, advice, whatever, building your own oven, I'll do my best to help. And until next time, I am out.